CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a video balin and why to even use it in the first place. So traditionally, if you have an analog security camera like this, you'll have a power connection coming out of it. This is a 12 volt DC connection and a BNC cable coming out of it. This is a BNC female. This is what a regular pigtail looks like for a camera. This particular camera has two of these BNCs. One is black colored and says HDCVI on it. This camera happens to output a HD signal that is for use with a security recorder that you just see right over there. And also a regular old DVR that will accept a CVBS, which is a composite video broadcasting system uh, signal. This is basically old standard resolution. I want to use the HD signal in this case. Now, if you were to hook up one of these cameras to a DVR, traditionally you would use Siamese cable. This is a pre-made Siamese cable. It's a budget type cable. It'll support up to four megapixel signals up to 100 feet, depending on the length of your cable, of course. Don't go over 100 feet if you're using four megapixel signals on these. So here you've got a BNC male and you've got a DC power male. The DC power male would connect here and the BNC would connect here and the other end. This connects to your power supply. So I've got a power supply right there and that cable would go in here and this cable would then connect inside the DVR. So sometimes people wanna save money on cabling. Instead of buying one of these, they'll basically use a Cat5 cable since Cat5 is a lot cheap, cheaper. As long as you're using solid copper Cat5e or Cat6, you can actually run a 1080p or 4MP analog security camera signal to your DVR. And that's what I've set up here to show you. You'll have to power the camera through a power terminal, which I'll show you in a second. But in my case, for my test that I'm doing to show you the quality of the Balin, I have a power supply. This is a power brick and it is a 12 volt, one amp. This is my trusty 12 volt, one amp that I use for most of my demonstrations. You'll see it says 12 volt, one amp, plus DC current. I have connected my 12 volt, one amp to my camera, connected the HD signal to my video Balin. And this is what a video Balin looks like, okay? And on one side it has a BNC and the other side is a screw terminal. And there's a polarity to them. There's a positive and negative. So this screw is positive and this one's negative. What I've done is to kind of guide you, on both sides, you're gonna have a video bailing. One side connects to the camera. There you go, you've got a camera pigtail coming out, a video bailing, then you got Cat5e. All you need to do is just use two strands. This will take you anywhere from 200 to 400 meters, depending on your signal type and the signal resolution. And then after that, you connect it again, matching whether you're using solid wire or stripe wire, positive or negative, on this side as well, and then plug it into your DVR. I'm connecting to the first channel in my DVR. So video bail-in, two wire strand, making sure your positive and negative is good. The other thing you wanna make sure is there's no excess wire showing through these connections. Otherwise it'll short out and just cause signal issues. Make sure there are no breaks in your wire, you're using good quality wire, solid copper, and I've actually ripped the strands out of my wire. Some installers like to do that. Just for this demo, I happen to do that, but usually I don't. But you could even run multiple signals through one Cat5e or Cat6 because there are four pairs in there. All you need is one pair to send the video up to four megapixel. And then you've got your camera, power supply. And here's what the video balance looks like in a package, just so you know. Now I turned my camera on while I was talking and now it's here on the screen. And you'll see that the video is crystal clear. There are no lines. If you're getting lines in your video, then your cable is not good quality. You have to use, again, like I said, solid copper wire. If you have copper clad aluminum or your installer cheaped out on wire or you just bought cheap wire, then you're gonna get lines in there. Or make sure you're also using the right type of balance for the resolution you're using. In my case, I am using a 4MP camera and here in channel one, it shows up. This is uh, this is a 4M signal, which is a 4MP signal. Uh, even at nighttime, I'm gonna turn the lights off. 
to make sure there's no issues going on with the signal. And there aren't, are none. This is a perfectly clear picture. If there were any distortions, you would see lines going through. Now, if you see lines going through again, your cable quality is messed up, or if it's only happening at nighttime, then you've got an issue with your power delivery to the camera that needs to be addressed. Hopefully, this is a quick overview, yet detailed enough to guide you on how to get dangerous with video balins. Again, these are called video balins, as stated in the packaging, and that's how you set them up. I'm now going to also show you how to do the power very quickly. Here's an image of the power connector. This is how ultimately, if you're using one Cat5 wire, you would do the video bail-in and the power wire together. You can use one pair for the video bail-in and three pairs for the power. What you should do is kind of um, clump up the stranded wires on one side for positive and the other ones, the solid ones for the negative for power on each side and then have that run your 12 volt DC power to your camera. Make sure you're using the right kind of power, 12 volt DC and one amp maximum for most of your cameras. If you go over the amperage or the voltage, it may damage your cameras. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.